let's talk about setting up billing rates at a staff level. Now, very first thing that we would like to go ahead and do is I like to go ahead and identify the buckets that I would like to be able to create. For today's example, we're going to use 2017 base rate, 2017 discounted rate, 2016 base rate, and 2016 discounted rate. Now, these would represent nice little buckets that would apply to each of my projects within big time. Of course, we can create exceptions to the rule, but this is just, I like to call a 60-40 rule for billing rates. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll copy over our 2017 base rate, jump back into our big time environment, and the first thing is going to be setting up our buckets. So we'll go ahead and select my company from our navigation bar and select my company from the drop-down list. We'll click on lexicon and scroll all the way down. Now, what we're looking to do is go ahead and create our buckets. So staff rate A will be our 2017 base rate. Staff rate two will be our 2017 discounted rate. Staff rate three will be our 2016 base rate. And then staff rate four will be our 2016 discounted rate. Each of these headers will be a perfect match for what I'm actually showing within my rate page. And you can see that represented here across the top. So we'll jump back into our big time environment. We'll save our changes. Now for staff rates, we're gonna actually set those up at the staff level. So we'll choose my company from our navigation bar and choose staff list from the drop down. Now, using the example for today, we're going to go ahead and jump into my profile. And what you can see is that if we scroll down the page, the billing rates are now reflecting the titles that we set up in our lexicon page. So we'll go ahead and we will copy over my flat rates. and we'll go ahead and save changes. Now, the most important part of billing rates is making sure that it's set up within your project correctly. So we'll go to my company module from our navigation bar and select project list from the dropdown. Now, each of our projects is going to have its own individual billing rate. You can set it up at a staff level, which is reflected here in the base rate type where it says staff 2017 base rate, I can say that this should be at the staff 2017 discounted rate or so on. So making sure that I have the base rate set up at a staff type is going to be the first, the first step in creating billing rates within my big time environment.